meddling Merkel caves with desperate last-minute plan as Boris Johnson prepares deal. Angela Merkel intervened personally to save Brexit trade talks between the UK and EU according to an incendiary report. Despite European leaders initially refusing to intervene, so as to retain a united front around the European Commission, the German Chancellor is alleged to have stepped in. Britain is believed to be on the verge of agreement a new trade deal with the EU to replace the Brexit transition period. A final announcement could be made earlier today and then rushed through Parliament by the end of the year. According to the Daily Mail Ms. Merkel made an 11th hour intervention to rescue the trade negotiations. The German leader is reported to have pushed for Ursula von der Leyen, the European Commission president, to take over negotiations previously. Ms. von der Leyen previously served under Ms. Merkel as a German defense minister. As a result, Michel Barnier, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, was sidelined. European leaders have consistently refused to hold Brexit talks with Britain directly, insisting all negotiations must take place via the European Commission. Brussels had feared the UK would be able to divide and rule if it held separate negotiations with each EU member state. Ms. von der Leyen has become increasingly involved with talks over the past few weeks, discussing the state of play with Mr. Johnson on December 9. Since then, she reportedly had a number of conversations with the Prime Minister in a bid to break the deadlock. Talks became stuck over European demands for continued access to British fishing waters after Brexit and to what extent the UK will be able to deviate from the EU's level playing field. On December 9, Ms Merkel emphasised the importance of regulatory alignment saying the EU could not accept unfair competition. She added, we must have a level playing field, not just today but for tomorrow and beyond. Whilst Britain formally left the EU in January it remains in a Brexit transition period until the end of the year. During this time the UK remains part of the European single market but has to continue following EU rules and paying into the Brussels budget. Talks have been taking place to establish a new trading relationship for when this expires. Had the talks broken down the UK and EU would have traded on World Trade Organization terms from January 1, resulting in significant tariffs on each other's goods.